Politically, this is one of the most complicated spaces in the neighborhood. The school, which right now has about 600 students, is run by the Providence School Department. The brick building with the white windows over there is actually the early childhood learning center that is one of the leftovers of the old Smith Hill Community Center. People have a lot of impressions of Smith Hill and neighborhoods like it, but they're actually, they have a five-star grading system for early childhood centers nationally. The building to the right with the mural on it and the park area here is managed by Providence Park and Rec. And one of the projects that we decided to do, um, because we were hearing from neighborhood residents that there were three big issues. One was economic opportunity and economic life in, this, in the neighborhood. Second was vacant lots and just trash and things looking kind of abandoned. And the third was a lot of fear for kids in the neighborhood, both them getting in trouble, but their educations, um, their opportunities for mentoring, just all. But really, it had gotten bad enough that a lot of the elders in the neighborhood were afraid of these little groups of teenagers walking around. So it was just, it was, those were what people were worried about. And with no money and other resources, we thought, what can we do uh, using existing stuff? And so we decided to start a community garden and it actually was built underneath the footprint of the rec center. We connected it to the curriculum of the elementary school as a way of getting our education department to participate in raising the test scores in the school using experiential education and teaching out of local context kinds of ideas, sort of a critical education approach. So we did it, you know, equal number of young men, young women. So it was really intentionally as diverse as we could possibly do it. And partly for them, but it was also like, we need to use this to get inroads into all of these different communities in, in Smith Hill. And this is our tool to do that. And uh, we put the garden together, ran really well for about six years. And then um, it got too good and started to become a political problem. And what I mean by that is when we hosted a uh, cookout using food from the garden, we'd get 300 people, 400 people to show up from parents from the school, kids, neighbors. And that's a lot of people in this little space, right? And then because it was really like getting a really good vibe to it, right. soccer players started to come down and play pickup soccer in the field. And then pickup soccer turned in some weekend tournaments and we started getting buses from Hartford and Worcester and like, so you'd come down on a Saturday and it'd be like some boom boxes and some grills and some really high quality soccer, mostly from these emigre communities who felt really at home here, right? While it is possible to see the community garden as a casualty of the new rec center in the updated park, it's more accurate to say that the positive community organizing around the garden led to city investments in Smith Hill, like the rec center in the park. Projects like the garden are tools for leveraging positive change. This is how grassroots organizing works, and one reason spaces like gardens and community centers are so important.